Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending <laughs> One for the blooper reel. Welcome everyone to the latest anime news for the week ending February 12th, 2023. We've got some weird anime news to start off with today. Oh boy, do we. Have you ever looked at food in anime and manga and wished you could eat it yourself? Oh yes. Oh my yes. Definitely. Well, thanks to the artisans of Seto in the Aichi Prefecture, meat-eating manga fans can now get one step closer. Um, <laughs> the handmade manga meat bone wow. is designed to recreate that classic manga food of a big round hunk of meat with a bone sticking out of it, um, made of oven-safe oven ceramic. Users can pack ground beef around the bone, uh, wrap that in bacon, uh, mm. pop it in the oven, and voila, manga meat. Um, manga me. yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, there's more than just that one recipe. Uh, creative users can use it to fashion other meat dishes or even bone in cakes and breads. Oh, God. Because there's nothing I want to see more than a cake with a bone sticking out of it. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. Uh, the bones are over 10 inches long, comes in two colors, pure white and a more realistic ivory with shading. It's even specifically wow. designed to gain subsurface cracks over time. <clears throat> wow. So, you know, I, I just, I, I feel like that, you know, okay, I want it, of course. Right. And But I just feel like that once I have it and I'm going to make the, the, the dish, whatever it is, mm -hmm. wrapped around it, you know you know how you have to have to eat it. Of course, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. You, know, you can't just be like, oh, no, 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 no. You have to be sloppy and, and just yeah, pull. So Love here's it. the question: How much would you pay? Well, they're ceramic, right? So they're yep. they're going to be a little on the pricey side. So I would mm -hmm. say for if you're if it's a set of two, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, um, good question. I think I think it's you just get one. One, uh, um, I'd say thirty bucks. Just... Okay. Well, bad news. They are forty three dollars each. Wow. So that's a, a, a bit much. But you can get it on Amazon.co.jp and all the other other places so if anyone's interested that I, is that's not just might i just might it's just not yeah i, hear I that. just might i, I just you know because why not why not um <laughs> speaking of why not we've had some uh, uh new anime announcements in our Ooh. anime announcements segment um this week brings us just two though first up the light novel series a playthrough of a certain dude's vr mmo life is inspiring a tv anime series the novel star, a 38-year-old regular office worker who joined a new sandbox VR MMO called One More Free Life Online, and we follow his leisurely adventures that master game skills that others deem to be useless. Um, huh. So what's interesting here is it doesn't appear to be Isekai. He's just playing an MMO. Oh, well, you know, I was just going to say, it's the Isekai without the Isekai. Yeah. The truck coon, right? Exactly. So, um, you know, unless that's the, the trick at okay. the end, you know, True. it's just like, you know. But I want to be there in the real world, in that world. Okay, here's Tarkoon. Yeah, and judging by the visuals, I'm sure he learns to cook. Right. right so it's going to be a cooking anime, basically. Cool. I'm up for that. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, secondly, Karakawa announced this weekend that the Ishura light novel series is also getting a TV anime adaptation. Uh, the novels take place in a world run by uniquely powerful demigods, each vying for the title of one true hero. There can um, be only one. Exactly. Um, this is one of the teaser images. The other shows a horrified girl. Um, because you got to have that. Um, the main characters include Sojiro, the Willow Sword, and you know the distant Talon, uh, who mm -hmm. of course wears a seifuku. Not quite, but um, yeah. Um, so that is a thing coming um it's certainly a thing i think i would be horrified if i saw that walking across the landscape definitely hey, what's so... that what's what's that in downtown baltimore oh crap <laughs> yeah. uh so obviously attack on titan vibes at least from this yep. image um sounds like they're kind of vying for next big shonen title for this mm. so we'll see if they can they can manage it um speaking of big shonen moving on to normal anime news it's been a little while since we last heard about demon slayer conquering the world but it's never out of the news for long. Yep. The third season is getting ready to debut in April. And to get fans excited, a special theatrical event began on February 3rd in Japan. The Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith Village film 
is basically the last two episodes of the show's previous Entertainment District arc and the first hour long, yeah, the first hour long episode of the upcoming Swordsmith Village arc remastered in 4K. Uh, Guess what? It filmed, it, it debuted at number one. Ah, uh, really? Um, shocker. Yeah. I'm shocker. shocked. Yeah. Uh, in three days, it earned a billion yen. Oh. <laughs> so here we go again. Uh, the film uh, ride that already. train, baby. Ride exactly. that train. Exactly. Got to ride that take train. Take a ride. Um, and, and imagine that. You, you know, you, you, you get Mugen Train, then you're like, okay, for the <clears> next <throat> trick, we're just going to edit together some episodes. And here you go. And pe- and the people went, yes. Yeah, exactly. We will pay for that. <laughs> the film will also be going on an overseas theatrical tour, of course, with the North American leg beginning on March 3rd. Um, there will be a red carpet event in LA, February 18th, already sold out. Oh, of course. Um, it will feature appearances by Natsuke Hanai, uh, Tanjiro's Japanese voice actor. Oh, wow. Um, the theme song performer Imer and more with further special events held in major cities across the world. Wow. So that's pretty exciting. Like, it's not just yeah. movie. It's also like... You're getting you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're getting events. You're getting people. Wow. Um, that's how to do it. And in fairness, again, it's not original content. It's kind of a right. know, cut together and preview. So they're goosing it a little bit. Um, now, this is a, a, a bit of a weird one, but worth covering. Um, ten new English dub episodes of Case Closed, a.k.a. Detective Conan, have been yep. added for free streaming on Tubi. Um, this is the new dub cast used in discotex releases of the franchise's films. Now, here's why this is important. Um, these are episodes 965 through 974. To give you an idea of how yeah. absurd Detective Conan is. Um, these are the first English dubbed episodes for the series since Funimation stopped dubbing the series back at episode 123. I was going to say it's it's a big chunk. I, yeah. You know, I I mean I watched the first you know first season. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. Case Closed, and um, and then you know after a while you know you know watching him piecemeal, and then mm-hmm. they're like, oh yeah, we're not doing the voice thing anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Funimation only released 130 episodes in six movies. Crunchyroll began streaming new episodes starting at episode 754, but no English service is streaming the episodes between 123 and 754, and those episodes are only in Japanese, so maybe there'll be new um, new interest in an English dub. What, is Has Conan gone through puberty for a second time? <laughs> of by course this not. Point? No. Certainly not, no. no. No, you, you remain, and, and nobody has figured it out yet. Right? Nobody's figured it out. No, yeah, no okay, <laughs> he's Got just it. that good, <laughs> or everyone's just that dumb. <laughs> um, so yeah, who knows? But, um, uh, it would be nice to see. <clears throat> I remember when, yes. um, um, Kadocha came over, Kadomino Omocha Child's Toy, and they made a big deal about how they were, you know, everyone at, at Funimation loved it, they brought it over, they had a dub and everything, and and the first season came out, and they were like. Yeah, no dub for season two. They're like, why? Like, uh, no one bought it. Like, which is too bad. I mean, it's a fun little. It's you know, it's not going to be the 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 you know big. Oh, this is what yeah. you have to watch, you know, or anything like that. It, it was always a fun little a fun little yeah. series. I thought. Yeah. I th- Case closed is, is a classic. It's, it's like any like British murder mystery series, right? Like, right. it's not going to yeah. reinvent murder mysteries, but it's just a really fun, well made, well structured story. Yeah. Oh well. Um, also this week. News you want to mention and cover. Um, Bandai held the live streamed Digimon Con event this weekend and revealed the final project in the series' 25th anniversary celebration, a new multimedia project titled Digimon Seekers. Um, it'll include a novel, video trailers, and merchandise. The story will follow characters who are in search of what's important to them. Oh. That's new. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. right. And unlike previous installments, the characters appear to be adults. Which is interesting. Um, yeah. The novel centering on a 19-year-old <laughs> hacker and including other groups of hackers, Digi Police, and more. Because you got to have that. The novel is serialized on the Digimon web website beginning on April 3rd and available simultaneously in Japanese, Chinese, and English, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. um, and so, uh, obviously, it's not an <clears throat> anime announcement, but still, franchise. Yeah. Come on. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, another special, another special theatrical event is on its way to North America this spring. G Kids announced it's licensed the film performances of the Spirited Away live on stage play. Oh, 
Okay. Which is awesome. Uh, the play ran in Japan with two different sets of cast members. Wow, so they did two, a good job on that. They really did. Um, wow. So two different film performances will be streamed in theaters. So you kind of choose which of the actresses you'd rather see. Huh. Uh, the production was written and directed by John Caird, a Tony and Olivier award-winning director at the Royal Shakespeare Company. Um, oh wow! Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's this. This might actually, I might actually get involved with this. I might yeah. actually take a take a look at this. Yeah, I'd love to check this out. Yeah, well, I mean, especially the the picture on the 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 young lady on the right. Yeah. Is just I'm like, wow, could they have gotten that <laughs> nailed even more perfectly? I mean, just good lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be very curious to see how how to translate that you yeah. know, the, the the sumptuous bathhouse to stage. Yeah, wow, um, it's gonna be very interesting. Um, the Sao franchise, Sword Art Online, has an event coming up. Um, but this event will take fans outside their TVs or theaters and into the real world. The Sword Art Online Anomaly Quest revealed this week. It'll be an experience project rather than a visual based project, meaning actually out in the real world, and revealed a teaser visual and a trailer featuring that's Kirito and Asuna. Which oh, is, is pretty freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Love to know what's going on there. Um, the Quest website states that, quote, adventure isn't just something you watch on a screen, end quote, and that a quote-unquote real dungeon will be opening in Tokyo's Shinjuku area in April of this year. Ooh. So... Hmm. I'm curious. Now, in fairness, um, gaming cons have been doing stuff like this for a long time. They right, have the, yeah. the real dungeon, they call them, in, at Gen Con and Origins and such, where there's a set of rooms you go through and they have, you know, folks dressed up and such. Um, so not quite an escape room, but more of a, well, right. escape room mask. Yeah. Um, so presumably something like that. Who knows? Um, but but if you lose, do they just lock you in the closet? Or mm -hmm. do they? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can never leave. You know, you're, you're, right, you're, you're stuck in the locked on yeah. you, and you get, yeah, that's what you can do. <laughs> um, the, the other question, though, I mean, in fairness, um, it's an experience <clears throat> project. Might be VR, might be like the, uh, you know, the Star uh, Wars yeah, VR yeah, running yeah, around yeah. thing. Who knows? Um, and finally, sadly, this week, uh, Fuji TV and Assassin's Suzai son have announced that voice actress Takako Sasuga. Has passed away at age 87 wow. after voicing Sezai san's son Tarao for 53 years. Wow. Ever since the initial broadcast, she also voiced Monomi in the Dagan Rumpa franchise and many others. So sad to see her go, but that is a heck yeah. of a resume. Um, well, I mean, I mean, having job security for 58 years of at least doing one character i mean yeah. that's you know <laughs> that's pretty incredible actually mm -hmm. yeah she was in to give you an idea um um just gonna list a few things um and of green gables oh um indeed um kanagi crazy shrine maidens from like 07 wow. nausicaa the valley of wind as okay. girl b um Raideen the brave Oh, okay. Um, um, several sort of random things. Adventures of Hutch the Honeybee. Uh, the 1980 Astro Boy. Oh. Uh, and, of course, Sezai san. Uh, Princess Knight as well. Oh. That. So, yeah. Um, rest in peace. Indeed. Yes, but that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Case to Papa.